Okay, looking at another defensive action from the Crazy Monkey Defense System, this is the T-Bar, or the Tactical Brace for Accelerated Recovery. The reason I created the T-Bar is that sometimes you find that somebody's really on top of you, they're really close, you don't want them there, you want to move them away from you, but you want to keep yourself safe. At the same time, which is really cool about the T-Bar, it's also an offensive action. So the T-Bar motion is moving from the forearm at a 45 degree with the second hand backing up behind it just to create a strong brace. You tuck your head inside as you do it so you don't keep your head up. Remember, always protect the operating system and you're driving forward. So an example of that would be, imagine if Annie's in front of me, I reached in to try and grab her and her response to stopping the grab is to go first to that T-bar action. That's her ability to get into that stop, right? So she braces that position and then she, if she uses the next part by driving in that forearm, she's then able to convert that a stop into a strike. And that's what's really good about it, right? So the T-bar is there to move the threat away from you. So the tactical brace for accelerated recovery, meaning that I'm going to a tactical brace position, stopping the opponent, and then moving them away so I can recover to distance. It's a great uh, defensive technique and it can be used anywhere, right? Of course, it could also be used of strikes. So if, for example, I started throwing strikes at Annie, she can go into a T-bar from here or for other defensive uh, moves, like say she was working CM1 or CM2, and then she can go into that T-bar and get into that position, right? And what's really good about it, as you notice, is that as soon as she moved in there, not only am I kind of moving backwards, but she's also converting it into an offensive move, which is ultimately what it's designed to be.